Miners, Miney King here. Today we're going to be tossing the salad. So let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about a new, well, it's not really new, but it's been around for a while and it's a platform called Salad. Now, Salad used to be a crypto mining platform and I believe the hobbyist had done some content on this, you know, some time ago, but now they are a AI platform, which is, it really is um, a really great platform because it's able to get people who maybe aren't as technically, you know, inclined as others, you know, people who don't know Linux and how to do, you know, command line and troubleshoot and things like that, where this is just a Windows platform that's very, very easy to use. Now, I'm not going to be going over the setup in this video. I will be setting up some Intel, AMD, and some tips and tricks. I'll be setting up, I'll be doing a whole series on Salad for you guys. This video is kind of just going to go into what is Salad and what have, um, you know, what has my profitability been looking like after about, I've been using it for about a week now, and it's been actually really, really good. And the community in their Discord has been really helpful and uh, most of the time you get pretty good feedback when you talk inside their community. So let's go ahead and let's check out Salad. Okay, so we're over here at Salad.com and this is where you could find all the information you need to find about their platform. Maybe you want to rent some stuff or, you know, whatever else you guys want to find. Salad.com, I'll have a link down below. You guys can come check it out. But what we're interested in today is going to be earn with your GPU. You just click on earn with your GPU and then you click the download link and then it will download to your computer. Now you will need a Windows computer for this. So there is no Linux version yet, but that is something they're working on for the more advanced users. But for right now, there is um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 support. So you just click here to download and it's just a basic install for any other program where you just keep clicking next and it'll install right after you click the download button here and let's just say we're i'm on my macbook so that's fine we'll just do this my screen's different because i'm already logged in right but you you'll be prompted to do a login so you will have to give an email to make your account now let's go ahead and let's look at what salad looks like as far as what the actual um, application looks like on your computer. All right, guys, so we're over here in one of my rigs. I'm remoted in right now, and you can see we're in the chopping status here. And once you install the application, it's super easy. When you first start it up, uh, chopped will be paused, and then all you have to click is chop now, and you're... Uh, you're off and going to the races. That's just how easy it is. Now there is some settings that you do need to tune and that'll be in one of my later videos with my tips and tricks of some of the things I've learned if you start getting low paying jobs, how to get back up onto the higher paying jobs and some troubleshooting things and you know just basic tips and tricks that I've learned over the past week working with Salad. Now, um, you will notice here that the containers uh, that's running is about 30 gigs. Um, now it is important to have, I would say around 64 gigs of memory because some of them are even up in the high 30s, in the 40s. So it's good to have 64 gigs of RAM. Little free tip there for you guys. Um, now then you'll see here that I have the Star Chef symbol. Now that is because I've chopped over 50 hours in one week. So every Friday they will drop down who was a Star Chef based upon how many hours your machine has chopped. Um, you can see here my profitability and this profitability is not just for this rig, but for my all the machines combined under my account. And it says between 284 and 596. From what I'm told, it's always on the higher end of this. Um, but, you know, I'm obviously testing just to confirm how everything works. Um, and, and other than that, man, Salad is just a really easy, basic platform um, to use. Their back end is really nice. Um, you have this performance tab here. You can configure some settings here um, with your workloads and all kinds of stuff, right? It's very, very 
very easily laid out, very easy to read, understand. They have explanations um, with all of these tabs here, you know, like this is elevated permissions. This is the the workloads and it, it, it actually explains to you what everything is. So this way you can make a decision if you want to run some of these settings. So that's that's just how easy and simple this platform is. It really is made for the everyday person, right? So one thing that Salad does have going for them moving forward is that they have the ability to onboard a lot of graphics cards, right? Because even though these graphics cards may only be individualized, um, the thing is, though, is they'll have a high amount, like a very big quantity of them, right? Because anybody and everyone can do this. Now, with that being said, I w um, there is some, some things you need to know that if you try to run MSI or any other types of um, tuning softwares, that it could trigger a alert in Salad and make you be degraded even though maybe you're only doing a fan curve and not any undervolting. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, there is some stuff happening in the works that I've heard about that they're expanding to multi-GPUs, that they're uh, building a Linux uh, version of this, and that they're also trying, uh, also sometime in the future, there'll be like a dashboard for management um, for you guys, to, for people to be able to see like multi machines, right? So you don't have to like remote into everything and try to manage multiple things, right? I think that their that their initial push was for gamers, and which is great. And I think they're kind of getting more into maybe people like us, like miners and other people like that who are used to managing multi rigs or who build purpose built rigs that are on 24 seven, like with vast or any other kinds of systems, right? So uh, really interesting stuff. Now let's talk about the payout and um, structures of, of salad. Now, this is this can be a pro or con is that salad doesn't let you list your GPUs for what you want to advertise them for. So some people could look at that as a con. Some people could look at that as a good thing, right? Because I've been on Vast where you have to sit there and you have to play the markdown game or you're trying to mark it up because the market's going up. You're trying to capture profits. And it's it's a back and forth thing. You have to watch all the analytics and, you know, do all that stuff. Salad just takes care of all that for you. And you just get the price for your GPU, right? So it's kind of nice. It's kind of like a set it and forget it thing, which... Somebody for me who's extremely busy all the time, I do appreciate that and I do like it. Now, a um, another good pro of this is that they do, um, so their payments are through like, you know, Steam and like um, Discord and um, you can get like MasterCard prepaid stuff. But the one I like is PayPal and their B, if you wait to get to a hundred bucks, it's only ten and a half percent. So if you want to get paid a hundred dollars, it's a hundred and ten fifty. So if you think about that, actually, it's actually a much lower fee than Vast because Vast takes a twenty five percent cut of whatever your revenue is. So to me, I kind of like it. I almost think they're about the same as far as profitability wise goes. Um, but I find that my rigs on salad are just rented more across the board, right? That they're always working containers. I don't have to worry about somebody renting my machine or it not being picked up. I don't think as far, even, even though there's been a few times where it's dipped down into a low paying job for a little bit, it always ends up finding a better paying job, right? Now I do have like four forty nineties on here. A 4070 and a 3060. So the 3060, it's doing like a dollar seventy-five, two bucks a day. You know, nothing crazy. But the 4070 is doing like two fifty to like four seventy-five a day, and the 49ers are doing. They're like in the six dollar range, right? So now, I'll, now I will get into one segment here at the end of of this video where I believe that you should not keep this on your home network. Um, I personally, you know, you're onboarding other people's containers onto your own network and you're giving access to salad 
to come on to your, you know, into your home network. So always, guys, use proper network security, whatever that is to you and whatever you feel secure with. Um, be sure to set the proper network security for these types of machines. So this is just the beginning of my SAL adventure. Um, I will be doing a video on Intel, um, you know, you know, BIOS settings for things you need to set up for your BIOS that'll help you out along the way. Also an AMD um, CPU one to give you, to show you how to set the BIOS settings for AMD. I'll do some tips and tricks for salad, um, things that I have used that have helped me out. Um, you know, some, some, just some stuff I've learned from other people who are in the, you know, in the, you know, we're tossing the salad here or chopping it, whatever you want to call it. All right. Um, so I'm going to be doing a few videos on this and you guys can just kind of watch me in my journey with this, um, with salad. So far, I'm really happy um, with the experience. There's been, um, I would say a learning curve, right? As there is with any new platform or operating system that you, you know, you start getting in from the beginning. You know, obviously for me is like, I'm coming from vast. So my experience is like, way different than compared to what I'm used to being on this platform. So it's just a learning curve. Um, but it's been a pretty smooth one, I would say. Um, so anyways, guys, let me know how you like this video. Are you guys interested in salad? And always remember, the money can gives you the most hashes. And I'll see you next time.